Richard, you... Richard Taylor from Gran Turismo. Okay, right. So what have we got here? Uh, this is the new Intercontinental uh, Gran Turismo casing, which is uh, machined for 200 uh, big block use with standard cranks, and standard internals, but it's got additional meat on the cases for um, larger cranks up to uh, CR250 72 stroke and lots of extra uh, features and meat on for uh, additional uh, benefits that tuners might want to get involved with. Even though that is a 62, which technically is larger. Right. Because it's our own, because it's our own Conrod, we've got the clearances right. So on the production, on the production um, intercontinental casings, they will already will already machine in a trough around the back to allow for other people's cranks, which is 62 or 64, and might stick out more. Uh, so we're not we don't limit the, the the use of the casing only to Gran Turismo products. The idea is that they're as universal for everything as we can possibly make them. But then, whenever you do a casting of this particular type, which is a, a sand cast. The issue is always movement in the casting. So, the cast, how the casting shrinks and moves during its cooling process and knocking out, isn't as controlled, for example, as a die casting. Um, there are benefits in that the the crystalline structure in the sand casting is usually a lot, a lot better than using the alloys that you'd normally use for die casting. But the flip side is that you're dealing with something that's a little bit more. Um, bohemian than a die casting.